So I would just make sure that you are doubling down on avoiding having malware installed on your system. So making sure all of your browsers are kept up to date. I would personally, and this again is a very specific recommendation. I know some people don't like Google's safe browsing thing, which by the way, if you use Google safe browsing on Firefox or Brave or any other browser, it doesn't mean Google gets your data. It just means they're using Google's safe browsing list. So that's just a very important thing to distinguish there. This is what Firefox does. So Firefox strips string parameters from URLs um, to check download protections. Uh, cookies set by safe browsing service to protect the service from abuse are stored in a separate cookie jar so they're not mixed with regular browser session cookies. And when requesting complete hashes for a 32-bit prefix, Firefox throws in an extra noise entry to obfuscate the original URL. And on top of all of that, um, here's what Mozilla officially says. There are two times when Firefox will communicate with Mozilla's partners while using phishing and malware protection. The first is during the regular updates to the list of reporting phishing and malware sites. No information about you or the sites you visit is communicated during list updates. So it's pretty much fetching, fetching updates what the lists are. And the second is in the event that you encounter a reported phishing or malware site. Before blocking the site, Firefox will request a double check to ensure that the reported site has not been removed from the list since your last update. This request does not include the complete address of the visited site, it only contains partial information derived from the address. And then the only thing that like might be of concern to people um, is in addition to the regular list updates mentioned above, when using malware protection to protect downloaded files, Firefox may communicate with Mozilla's partners to verify the safety of certain executables. In, the, in these cases, Firefox will submit information about the file, like the name, origin, size, and a cryptographic hash of the contents to the Google Safe Browsing Service, which helps Firefox determine whether or not the file should be blocked. Personally, for someone in your situation who you're on Windows, <laughs> so it's not like you're chasing like absolute 100% privacy in the first place, I think this is a fair trade-off and I would make sure that you're using things like this because it is fairly privacy respecting um, and it only will submit even a small amount of data if something's actually recognized, which hopefully shouldn't happen. But even if it does, it's not very privacy invasive and I think that I would really be checking these tools out. And for those curious, I'm pulling up the Brave docs. Uh, so Brave Browse, so Safe Browsing and Brave has the following privacy properties. URLs are never sent to the Google operated server. The vast majority of website visits do not lead to server requests. And on desktop, the browser does not connect to the server directly. Instead, it routes through a Brave operated proxy server so that Google servers never see your IP address. So um, there's a lot of other technical details. Long story short, all these browsers like Firefox and Brave do a very good job of ensuring that this is all done in a privacy respecting way. And I think that like the security benefits of, of this is definitely worth it for most people.